Welcome to a Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and this time we are looking at the Hinoura Tamashi Shirogami or White Paper Number no. Two Nakiri 165 millimeter knife. Uh, I got a little typo on my sheet there, which I fixed by hand. But the core steel is uh, Shirogami Number no. Two reactive carbon steel. The heat treats about 62 to 63 Rockwell on that core steel. And the construction of these knives is a stainless steel cladding on either type, of, either side of that uh, core steel for a three-layer sandwich. And this stainless cladding does have a kuda uchi or blacksmith finish on it, and it's quite smooth. The uh, this Hinoura Hinoura line of knives is very high quality. They're really well-crafted knives, and as soon as you pull it out of the box, you can just tell this knife has some high quality craftsmanship to it. It just feels that way and it's just a very well made knife. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The construction, or excuse me, we already did that. The weight is about 6.1 ounces or 174 grams. Blade length right around 160 on the edge to when you hit start hitting the curve of the blade towards the tip. And the overall length around uh, about 12 and a half inches on this particular knife. The spine thickness on this one above the back of the blade at the chin is about 2.8 millimeter and then um, it tapers down just a little bit, but then holds that thickness all the way till the end of the knife. And then the height on this, I usually measure them at the back, at the heel, or the chin, and then about halfway up. So this one was about 49 millimeters tall back here, and about halfway up, about 48.8, which means it's pretty similar all the way across. It doesn't get taller or shorter as some uh, Nikiti knives do. The handle is a no-frills, good quality, octagonal ambidextrous, you would... Buffalo horn ferrule. Uh, sometimes you'll get a little step between the wood and the, the horn ferrule. This one's pretty smooth all the way around. So well-crafted installation at the tang. And uh, these handles are pretty light. Uh, the size of this handle was about 3 inches or 76 millimeter circumference right here where the horn meets the wood. Balance point on this is a little fur forward um, from the handle because of the heaviness of a Nikiti blade and also the light handle so it's right there for me it's pretty close to a pinch grip and it gives this knife a nice feel to it but it's got a little bit of weight to the blade for some uh, cutting and chopping power the finish on these is very well done it's not super super smooth but it's quite smooth and you've got just a little bit of texture to it you've got some um, chiseled kanji at least it looks chiseled to me, although it could be embossed. And I think it's hand chiseled. And just a quality finish to the blade. You can see where the core steel shows through at the edge. That will patina. The stainless will not. Really nice blade grind on these. Fit and finish is great on the back of the knife, the choil into the emulto or neck, as well as the spine of the knife. So just a nice fit and finish all the way around. Out of the box edge on this was about a four, maybe a five. It was sharp in some places and not in others. I've seen really sharp blades from this maker and some that are about like this. So, but this uh, Shirogami number two will sharpen up super quick. The edge bevel is tiny on this because it's quite thin at the edge, and you'll get a sharp edge in no time at all on decent quality sharpening stones. Well, let's take a peek at what this looks like on a profile. Nikiti knives can be all over the place, from dead flat to fairly curvy. And let's take a look at what this one looks like on the board. This one actually has quite a bit of uh, flat area to it. And the back half of the blade's pretty flat. I'm getting just a touch of a bump right there, but it's pretty darn flat. And so I'd say this is mostly flat. Not a lot of curve to it. You get a little bit of belly going into the back half of the blade. And kind of a stop there towards the back half of the blade. Every knife will be just a touch different since they're handmade. But that's, one that's, that's the way this one looks. So this has a real high quality feel about it. It's got a great Kuda Uchi finish on it. Stainless over carbon for low maintenance. And uh, just a high, high quality knife all the way around. So there you have a great Nikiti. This is the Hinoura Tamashi uh, Shirogami number two Nakiri 165 knife.